get to do that when we get to talking and then we'll have it to put up also. All right, I hit the button. It says preparing to live stream <laughs> your message to Facebook. So let me pull up Facebook and see when we pop up. Oh, and we're live. <laughs> it's really fast. It's incredible. Surprise. Surprise, we're here. Hey, y'all. All right, give me just a second. I'm going to share this to the groups. Well, that was pretty easy too. I think, I think this Facebook thing is going to be around for a while. It's pretty handy. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Oh, that was really easy. It wasn't it awesome. <laughs> that was incredible. Way to go, Zuck. Done and done. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for making my life easy. All right. Hey, y'all. This is Whitney Nosley. I teach women how to buy houses without money or a license. Uh, the name of my company is Whitney Buys Houses because I buy houses. <laughs> and this is my friend, April Crosley. Hi, everybody. I'm April Crosley, and I also teach people how to buy houses with none of their own money, but in a little different way than Whitney does. And my company is called Lazy Girl Real Estate Investing because I'm lazy, <laughs> and I like to make everybody money and help everybody be as lazy as they can, but still make the returns of real estate. So this weekend, we had an awesome weekend in Asheville, North Carolina, teaching people how to buy houses with other people's money. It was cool. It was amazing. And we called it private money profits because it's all about how to make money with other people's money. Right. So they get to make money and you get to make money, which I think is amazing. And I got to tell you, the way I buy houses is without money, without credit, without banks. I do lease options. I do owner financing. I've never actually borrowed somebody else's money to fund any of my deals. And I got to tell you, I have probably lost money by not having somebody else fund my deals. I've, I've reinvested all of my profits back into flips or right. I've had to sell a house and get an option fee to go flip another house. And like this whole idea of letting other people be in on your, you know, money and let them make money. Also, it's just, it blows my mind. I absolutely love it. Yeah. How'd you get started doing or borrowing other people's money? So, Basically, I don't want to say by force, but the first deal we did, we had no money. <laughs> so we had to find money. And the only way we need to, knew to do that was to go to another investor that was flipping successfully and say, we have this great deal. And I always tell people, just find deals, like just find deals. That's where it's at. And I just went to that, this guy and we were like, we have this great deal and we have no money. So like, can you help us? And he offered to do a JV or a joint venture. So we did the deal together and ended up splitting the profits. And I found out at the end that it wasn't even his money, that this other investor was bringing someone else's money. So we made money, the investor made money. And then I, that's how I learned about private lending because he had a private lender and my mind was just blown. I'm like, this guy doesn't have money either, but he's flipping all these freaking houses. Like, so then I was like, I don't need money. I just need to find more people like this guy that have money that don't want to spend the time looking for deals or working on houses. So more people. Sorry, I'm <laughs> taking our video to make sure that you could hear us. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's how you got started. And when was that? Oh, that was probably like 2004, maybe, or 2005. So, so that's been a while. You, you've lived through some ups and some downs in the market. What, I mean, what do you see that changes? I mean, are we in like a tight spot right now where there's not any money or what's the deal? We're, we're in just the polar opposite. So now there's way more money than there are deals. Like it's completely overwhelming because it's the market's very competitive. And a lot of people that used to flip, they only know like buying on the MLS or um, buying at sheriff sale or tax sale. They don't know other creative ways to buy. So for those of us that are buying 
at off market and creatively and we're still finding deals people that are no longer finding deals have all this money that they still want to make the return of real estate but they don't want to do the work they don't want to start the marketing machine and do the work so i've told someone at lunch today i'm like i've got money coming out my ears like i've just got lenders coming to me daily daily from the time i mean i got back from north carolina this past weekend i have two more meetings this week with new private lenders i had five when i got back from arizona in one week it's just insane tons of money out there i don't know why anyone would use their own money <laughs> it well, baffles me a lot of people tell me you know i'd love to get into real estate but i don't have any money yeah and i you tell them all the time i'm like you don't need any money and yeah. i mean whether you do things my way or you borrow other people's money like you really do not i, I laugh about this you, like, you don't need any money to do real estate you just need money to pay me to teach you how to do the real estate right, right. i joke about <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but there's a lot to teach there's a lot to know even that oh man we yeah. pack so much information into this weekend and private money profits and I mean I just sat there for the first two or three hours thinking holy crap like how much money have I actually lost out on by not knowing this sooner and I tell everybody also that I don't actually right. know everything there is to know about real estate and that's why I love having friends like you so I can say hey Tell me about this. Tell me about that. Tell me, you know, how do I make this deal happen? And I think that's what you're so great at is finding deals that aren't on the MLS because I mean, the best deals right. for me don't come from the MLS. Right. And so you have right. some ideas yeah. of how to get in touch with those sellers and then how to, like you said, get more money coming out your ears that you don't even have deals you could spend it on. That's an amazing problem. Right. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good problem to have. It really is. It oh, really yeah, is. For sure. So tell me, what are some misconceptions about private money or private money lending or the whole world of this? Yeah. The, the whole, the, I think the biggest, the top two misconceptions are one private lenders are like some kind of mythical unicorn, like they're hard to find. And, um, they're they're like way above you i mean if you were in a room with my private lenders you wouldn't even know they were private lenders it's not like they're pulling up in their lamborghini and like their three-piece suit you wouldn't even know um i have meetup meetings in my area and the last meetup meeting i had there was over a million dollars in private funds in the room at my meetup meeting and no one would have even known i knew because they're my lenders so i know but these lenders they're not going to come out and say hey i'm a private money lender because people bombard them but they are going to go to these meetings and network and talk to you and see if you're serious about what you're doing so Misconception one, number one is like, there's some mythical unicorn. They're not, they're everywhere, everywhere. Um, and in private money profits, we covered that. Like, here's where you can find them and here's the type of people they are and they're formerly real estate investors or this or that. We cover all that in private money profits. And the other thing we covered this weekend that was huge, that's a myth, is that they don't lend to newbies. That's just not the case. So we covered how to get around that. Like if you're working with a company that's like, I don't really lend to newbies, but once you do one or two deals, come back to me and then I'll lend to you. There's ways to get around that problem by doing stuff like a joint venture or sometimes your own personal financial statement can get you around that. Um, you know, or your deal is good enough that it doesn't matter to them, that they're just going based off of the deal. So those are probably the two biggest misconceptions. Well, I think those are pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that, those two right there are going to be what stops a lot of newbies. I think it would also stop somebody that was experienced. I mean, I've done 57 deals and I've never borrowed anybody else's money. So I'm not exactly new to real estate, but I am new to borrowing other people's money to get my deals done. Um, right. Would you also talk a little bit about like the different ways you can use this money? Because I had a question this morning on my uh, mastermind call with my ladies. They were like, well, Whitney, you've taught us all about lease options. Why do we need private money for lease options? And I said, you know, sometimes you need to fund a flip. And you can use other people's money to fund a flip and whether it's a lipstick on a pig like i call it or a cupcake yeah. deal, like you call it yeah it just needs 10 or 20 or thirty thousand dollars sometimes to make a hundred yeah yeah or sometimes you need to put money down on a property and instead of me putting my money on my pocket i could borrow somebody else's money to put down on that property and then when yeah. i got a non-refundable option fee 
I could cash them out in a month or two. Yep. Yep. And they're making interest and it's great. It's a win-win. Everybody's making money. So you could use it on the lease option. We use it on flips and rentals. We've never, we have a portfolio of rentals. We don't buy our rentals with any of our money. We never have. Um, we don't flip with any of our money. And even now that we have our own money, people are like, why wouldn't you use your own money? I'm like, cause my lenders would not be happy with me because they want me to use their money and I'm trying to keep them happy. So I keep their money in rotation. Um, so yeah, you can do lease options and flips and rentals and apartment buildings and all kinds of stuff. It's and endless. wholesaling too. Wholesalers need transactional funding. You could use oh, private yeah. money for that. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. And that's, that's kind of like another myth is a lot of people, um, a lot of gurus will say you have to start out with the wholesaling. And I know you and I are kind of like, it, this is one of our pet peeves. And I'm like, wholesaling is so hard. Like you do not have to start out wholesaling, but people always, I'm like, why are you wholesaling? Cause I want to build capital. I'm like, why are you building your own capital? There's like so much capital out there. It's insane, but they just don't know like the right questions to ask. Like when I say go to a meetup meeting with intention and we talk about that in the course and like ask certain questions and these are the certain people and here's where you can find it. I think once your eyes are open to that, you're like, why am I giving away these deals for a wholesale fee when I could be making 20, 30, whatever thousand doing a flip? Absolutely. And speaking of flippers, I've, I've done this myself where I reinvested my profits into the next deal. And I'll tell you, that's a good way to go broke because you got to do the next deal to fund the next deal. So right. how can people use other people's money so that I can make my profit and keep my profit? Right. Like I tell people, if you make 20,000 on a flip, keep that 20,000, like pay off school loan debt, pay off your house, pay off your car, like pay off all your debt. You don't, need your own money to buy another deal. So just keep borrowing other people's money. As long as you're factoring in what you're going to pay in interest into your calculation, which we go over that in private money profits too, so that you're not over leveraging or borrowing too much. You just factor those numbers in and keep using other people's money. Keep your profits, keep your profits for yourself and pay off your debt for sure. We talked about so much this weekend at Private Money Profits, and we definitely talked about which questions to ask when you're networking. We have a, a worksheet on that. We've got the you know formulas and the other questions you need to ask your private money partners or hard money lenders or you know how to know the difference between them. We talked about you know even how to make sure that you can double protect yourself. So you want to make money on the flip, you want private money investors, but what if this thing doesn't sell? Yeah. We also yeah. covered how to make sure that we're going to make money if we have to rent it. Like we covered so much this weekend. I was blown away with the information that you just poured out. And that's one thing that I got to say is you just poured out the information. It wasn't like one of those things where, you know, I'm going to put my guard up and I'm only going to tell you a little bit and tease you. We just I don't hold back. <laughs> we just put it all out there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And it just, it's all, I basically just took all my years of experience of borrowing with private money and put it all out there for everybody, how I found it, how I'm funding it, all the paperwork. So people, when they talk to lenders and they're new, they can speak intelligently about how they're going to protect that lender. The whole nine. Yeah, oh, I know. I love it. I was, I worked on the workbook yesterday because we have a workbook that goes with private money profits and I'm up to like a hundred pages already <laughs> that people, this is information <laughs> that you need, you know, it's, yeah. it's samples of what, you know, the, the paperwork looks like the contracts look like how, you know, even if somebody needs to add a, a attorney or a title person to their uh, team, yeah. we get, you know, samples of what it should look like because if you tell an attorney, yeah, I need this, I need that, I need this contract, sometimes it's hard for them. It's like building a house from the ground up. But if we give yes. them a template, then they can yep. just flip the contract for us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to make yep. sure it suits them. Yeah, and they like to have like a little base to start off of. Like we put the joint venture contract in there and, and it's good. It's not that that's, you still have to run it by your attorney, but at least you can take it to them and say, I'm looking for something like this so that they don't have to start from scratch because if they have to start from scratch, you're going to pay them a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of money. yeah. So, yeah. and you know, what we give, you could use on the first one or two until your attorney says, I'm going to make you a fresh one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This yep. stuff is going to work. Oh, it's going to work. I'm so excited about it. So what we have in private money profits is eight hours of content, which was at least eight hours of content. Oh, and yeah. It was 
amazing. It took us a day and a half to work through it. And we have lots of Q&A, lots of questions, lots of situations. I love the stories you told also of people being surprised that they can make this much money. I also love the stories that you told of people that said, I have this much but then when it got down to it, they had five times that much. Yeah. They're like, I want to lend 50000 That's what I have. And then you get them through one deal and they're so happy with what they made. They're like, I actually have 150, but I didn't want to tell you that. But now I'm telling you, so put it to work. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And that just gives you more opportunities. I know in yeah. my area, I might be able to buy two houses with 150 grand. Yeah. Yeah. And those would have been deals that I had to turn around, turn away if they didn't agree to my terms and my payments over time. But now that I've yeah. learned private money profits, I know that I can do more deals. It, it's just yeah. so exciting. And yeah. talk about apartments. Cause you mentioned that earlier that you could use other people's money to buy apartment complexes. How does that work? Exactly? Yeah. So a lot of people will use other people's money for the down payment on an apartment building and then it's just like when you're using it to buy a house you're paying those investors a return on their money to buy apartment buildings with you so you're partnering up to buy stuff so you're finding the deals and they have the money and you're able to buy something bigger because they're able to provide you funds for a larger down payment so it's not you just don't have to just flip houses with it I, th I think that's incredible because that's what a lot of people are going to say is, well, I don't want to flip houses. Well, you don't have to, you could use other people's money to fund a buy and hold. You could use other yeah. people's money to do apartment deals or self storage units or, you know, vacation rentals or whatever it is in real estate that you're wanting. Having some money never hurt anybody. <laughs> or at least having yeah. access to money. It's always been a good thing. All right. So is there anything else? Yeah. Hey, by the way, thank you so much for sending me, for giving us this shirt. I love, it says invest like a girl. I don't know if it's, ah, you're welcome. but I love it. It's good. It looks, it looks good with your lipstick. It makes me want to, <laughs> it makes me want to learn how to wear a lipstick. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, lipstick. It looks I'm great. Still learning how to wear, lip <laughs> I have a little struggle with that, but that's the side the point. Thank you so much for these shirts. Invest like a girl, y'all invest like a girl. I love this. <laughs> All right. So is there anything else that we need to add? Okay. Let's talk about private money profits again. This is a, it's a course and we've got eight hours of video content, pure content. We've got a workbook that we're going to send you that lays out every single thing that you need to start getting your private money deals done. And April and I were talking earlier and we were like, gosh, we really just need to give people who sign up. We need to give them, some ongoing support also. So we've decided that we'll do a monthly Q and A every month. Yep. You can submit and we'll work on how we're going to do that. Whether you email us the questions and then we do a video and send it out, or if we just upload it to the course, like we're still working on some of that, but we're definitely going to give you some ongoing support so that as you're coming up with deals, as problems are coming up, as questions are coming up, then we're still going to be here to help you. All right. Yep. That's April and I both, love to help people. Yeah. It's super important to have some ongoing help and support and guidance and a little bit of encouragement, sometimes just a kick in the pants to get these deals done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we will be there monthly yeah. Q to get over the fear. I find a lot just support. It's a dirty F word. It really is. It's one of the worst. So that's, that's what I have is it's video content, a workbook, and then monthly Q and A. And I think April, you had another little extra something we were going to throw in. We are. So while we're doing the private money profits, I'm going to um, repackage my lazy girl course and we're going to add that as a bonus to it. So that will give them the private money profits week plus the 15 ways to find deals, which I call it 15 plus ways to find deals because it's more like 25 or 30, I forget, but we go into detail about how to find off-market deals for your private lenders. And then we do a week on running numbers, like from my perspective, how you run them when you're using a private lender, um, seller financing, and we do a whole week on rehab costs so that you know when you're packaging this up for a lender that you're confident in what your rehab costs are gonna be. So we're gonna add all those weeks as a bonus to private money profits. That is 
absolutely incredible. Like April mentioned that this weekend and I was like, holy crap, like that's going to be the biggest bonus that I've ever given away in anything. And that's, thank you so much because that just really shows like how much you really want people to learn and grow so that they always have the full picture. Right. Picture. Instead of just, oh, well, then I'll give you this and I'll give you that and I'll give you this. Right. Yeah. I just want everyone to buy houses. That's what I want. <laughs> I just want everybody to be rich. Like, yeah. the world will just be so much better when we're all just millionaires and we don't have to worry about these things. Yes. Yes. And our biggest problem is that we have too much money coming out of our ears and not right? enough deals. So that, let's put it to work. <laughs> that is what I want for absolutely everybody. That's what I yeah. want. So, Me too. Me too. If anybody has any questions, this would be a great time to ask any questions that you might have about Private Money Profits. You can go to privatemoneyprofits.pro or there may be a link down here if you're watching this on the replay or anything, um, or maybe just click the buy button and we will totally take care of you. We are working on getting everything organized right now and I will let you know that it's going to be a minute before the videos are done, but the workbook should be done and I will ship those to you ASAP. And once you're in Private Money profits, private money profits. We will upload the videos as they are ready. And there's already some videos ready to go so that you can actually hit the ground running and get started before the whole thing is together. Or if you're watching this later, it may be all together. We're just waiting on you now. <laughs> I'm excited for everyone. I'm so excited. I know that the ladies that were there this weekend, they've had nothing but amazing compliments and all the aha moments. And I even remember one yeah. time where we were like, hold on, I need a break just so that I can like filter through what you just said. Yeah. Because it was just so like, you know, once, you open, once you open your mind to something, you can't close it back down. And once you open your mind to it, then God, the universe, everybody, whatever, they just start throwing you opportunities. Yeah. You have to open your mind. You have to get into yep. it and you have to learn about it so that you're ready to take on those opportunities yeah. when they fall in your lap. I had people this week from this weekend in Asheville that were like, wait a minute, I can be a private lender. And I also had other people that were like, wait a minute, holy crap, I know this person that should be a private lender because you say people that have this can be a private lender. I'm like, yeah, leverage that, like go to them, talk to them. It's just, just knowing it just opened up like this whole new world in so many different ways for everybody. It was really cool. It was very, it, cool. it's amazing. And I know, I mean, just the first two or three hours for me, I was like, well, this changed my whole world. Yeah. <laughs> my whole real estate investing world has been changed. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. For Thanks for having me this weekend. It was awesome. Absolutely. Let me check real quick and see if anybody has posted any questions. Um, I don't see any questions, so I reckon we are good to go. I reckon I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I so, love it. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pouring out everything you've learned since 2004. So 14 years of information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. And I look forward to seeing you again on another project or seeing you at Biltmore again or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Whitney. Absolutely.